Look at this. An article, yesterday's New York Times says, it asks actually, if the president can be indicted. They use that word, indicted. Look who's here. You probably heard him laugh a moment ago. <laughs> it's Judge Andrew Napolitano. Now, where's the talk of an indictment? Okay, I got it. Where's the crime? What's the crime? Well, the New York Times claims that the crime would be obstruction of justice, but the New York Times is overlooking the overwhelming consensus. Supreme Court's never ruled on this. It's just consensus. Legal scholars, lawyers, and judges that the president cannot be indicted while a sitting president because that would materially affect his ability to run the executive branch. That would, that would uh, interfere with his ability to comply with his constitutional obligations. The remedy, if there is evidence of presidential criminal behavior, would be impeachment and then indictment so that he would be defending himself, not while he's running the executive branch. According to the New York Times, the crime is uh, obstruction of justice, the material interference with a criminal investigation of his friends. That's one side of this. Here's the other side. Everybody in the executive branch works for the president. And if they don't work for the president, if they're independent of the president, mm. then they're not responsive to the will of the people. Only the president in the executive branch has been elected by the people. I don't get that. Okay, you can't so have entities in the executive branch that are not responsive to him, that are independent of him, because only he is answerable to the people. Therefore, everybody in the executive branch should be answerable to him. Stated differently, he can fire the head of the FBI if he doesn't like the investigations he's undertaking. He can fire the head of the NSA if he doesn't like the, the persons that are spying on. They they work for him, he works for the American people. Is all this talk of crisis, and whenever I tuned into a network broadcast over the weekend, that I did on occasion, word. that was, that the, was the, word. the word that was used. Crisis, the Kushner crisis in the Trump it administration. Grossly, grossly overblown. Jared Kushner is a very smart guy. Why did he hire a lawyer? He probably got a subpoena from a grand jury that's investigating Mike Flynn that wants to know if he has any documents that would illuminate the grand jury's investigation of General Flynn. That doesn't mean he's a target of a criminal investigation. It doesn't mean he's involved in a crisis. It doesn't even mean there is a crisis. I, I can't believe what's going on here. I've never seen anything like this before. I haven't either, but I know you believe it because you know the ferocity of the left and their refusal to accept the legitimacy of Donald Trump's election and presidency and their willingness, starting by our friends on, uh, on 8th Avenue and 43rd, the New York Times, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> their, their oh, willingness to do everything they can to drive him crazy in that office in order to drive him out of the office. You've missed out the Washington Post. I don't know well, their address. They're, they're, I don't know their address they're either. Right <laughs> and ABC Jeff Bezos and bought them, they moved into another building. <laughs> Did they? I believe so, yes. <laughs> okay. No doubt a building well, get that me Amazon address. owns. <laughs> yes, I'll get you the address. All right, Josh. I'll have it for that by the 11 o'clock. Crisis <laughs> wildly <laughs> overblown. Absolutely. Should not be using that word. I'm not sure there's anything there, there, but they want to find it. All right.